there's no room for insecurity in your life. And the only way to overcome insecurity is by tackling it head on. And of course, other people are not going to get the same message out of it that I got. Um, I only got this message because of my particular circumstances that I have going into watching, the, not the movie, the documentary, but I'll just say the movie. But in in any field, in any field where, where there is success to be had, there's no option to run away from your insecurities. You can't stay behind the scenes is what I'm trying to say. Is what I'm trying to say. Like in the in the example of like uh, pimps up hose down or any industry really, right? From from people who are not deep in that game, they look at it from the outside and they always see two sides of the of, of the industry, which is the streets and like the head honchos that run the streets right the top dogs the pimps basically and from the outside looking in to any industry in the world that's what the normies that's what the mainstream audience always sees they don't see all the other layers they only see these two layers and you know you go to any random white dude in the suburbs and you show them what, what goes on in the streets um in atlanta or whatever like where i live and First of all, he's never seen anything like it. It's a whole different world. And that in itself is also a factor because when he starts to see the other layers, at first he'll see only those two layers, the streets and the people who run the streets. But when he starts to dig deeper, he'll notice that before diving deep into it, it was completely invisible, the whole world. And the vast majority of the time you're spending trying to grow, you will only see these two layers of every industry. And if you enter the industry, you'll see three. You'll see three layers, which is the layer that you're on, the layer of everybody below you, and the layer of everybody above you, the buyers and the sellers. You're always buying from somebody and you're always selling from somebody. And there's a layer of you, of people like you, whether it's in real estate and you're an agent or whether you're you know, a hoe on the streets and you see the pimps above you and you see the, you know, the people paying for pussy below you. Like, you, if you're in the industry, if you're working in the industry, there will always be a layer above you and a layer below you and that's all you will see. You can't see past that. But know that those layers are there. And what I feel, what I got out of the, out of the movie this time around watching it was that like, if I, if I feel bad about what I'm doing, right? Let's say I'm a hoe or I'm a pimp or whatever, whatever layer I'm on, if I feel bad about it, if I feel insecure about it, if I feel embarrassed about it, right? And I go like, fuck that. I'm going to operate behind the scenes, right? Let's say, let's say I'm a pimp um, and I have my hoes, right? I don't want other pimps you know, trying to take my hoes and me making enemies with them. And I don't want to accidentally, uh, you know, try to take some of their hoes, the hoes that are loyal to them. I don't, I don't want to make any trouble. I don't want to make a noise. I don't want to step on people's toes, right? Let me operate behind the scenes. Let me try to move up a layer and try to, you know, be secretive about it. Well, sucks to suck. That's not how it works. Because hoes choose pimps that aren't afraid. Hoes choose pimps that are willing to step on people's toes who command respect. And in that way, it's it's a game that can't last forever. And everybody who goes into it knows that. Everybody who has any wisdom knows nothing lasts forever. Every pimp's empire will eventually fall. You can't keep it up forever. It's just, you play the game and you hope that you can get in and get out and, and experience the journey along the way. Really, it's about who's going to last the longest. So maybe for me, I'd go like, okay, this game is too hot for me, right? Maybe I should forget about pimping these hoes and go up one level and pimp the pimps. Maybe I make them my hoes. Maybe I sell cars. Maybe I sell jewelry. Whatever it is, right? Whatever industry I'm getting into to, you could say scam, but just convince these people that these things are valuable, right? Because these things don't really have any value. But I just, you know... Make them think that it has value. Make them think that they really want these things. 
Well, one thing you learn from experience as you grow up that most people don't learn until it's too late, the grass is never greener on the other side. It doesn't get easier at a higher level. Once you go to a higher level, it becomes harder, way harder to pimp. You just don't see it from the outside. It's like how the guy in the suburbs doesn't see the hoes in the streets. He doesn't even know who they are. The hoes are easy. That's an easy game. The lower the level, the easier the game, but the more likely you are to fall. The less likely you are to build generational wealth, you know? Like, really think about it for a second. Think about, like, if you really wanted to get into this game, it's so foreign and it's so dangerous and it's so risky. But if you ignore all that, it's actually a very easy game. Like, who do you think has more self-worth and confidence who do you think can manipulate the other person okay the guy who was like raised by a single mother who dropped out of high school uneducated who managed to go from being broke to making millions through i don't know trapping or whatever he ends up doing and he's respected by his peers and he has people who are willing to die for him someone who has like built an empire through their hard work and skills alone having the worst hand dealt to them by life that person versus some broad who like got broken down by pimps her entire life and now she just seeks validation from anyone and will fuck anything that moves and just wants someone to look after her and keep her safe she asks for permission just to seek validation from petty sources think about that who has more self-worth which one of those people if you put them in the same room is going to be able to successfully manipulate the other person? Who's going to be harder to pimp? So, you don't realize it. You think it's difficult, but you have no idea how easy it is. And you don't realize it, but when it's just dangerous. It's just high risk. When you get to a higher level, yeah, it's lower risk. You want to, you know, play within the law. You want to sell fashion or cars or, or, you know, weed or whatever, right? legally and in, in these kinds of things you want to get into the like game of stocks and things like that you want to get into the higher levels the things that are like uh, uh less risky but you won't realize it until you're in there the guys that you're competing with make the the previous pimps look like hoes think about it logically how could that possibly be any less difficult and anyone on that level on that level plus one level below, plus one level above, will know about you. And at that point, you may be invisible to the hose. The hose may not know, you know, who the fuck the, the executives at the, this advertising agency might be, right? But the pimps, the pimps know who the fuck you are. The people one level below you that you're pimping, that, that are your hose, and the people that are one level above you, that are pimping you, they all know about you. And you may be invisible to the people on the streets. Um, you may not be causing any problems there. You may be invisible to the cops trying to stop this business. But there's going to be a new set of people, not the police, but people way, way more dangerous trying to take you down. And so the moral of the story is that either you make yourself visible to and demand respect from the people, you know, a level below you and on your level and above you, or fail. That's all there is to it. And the other pimps will take your hose if you, if you don't make that happen. That's how this works. Everyone in this world is either a pimp or a hoe. And uh, if you want to work your way up the levels... It's the complete opposite of what you might think. It's not about, oh, I'm going to go behind the scenes and play it safe and have it easier going to these higher levels. No, it's not safer. It's not easier going to the higher levels. There is no running away from uh, putting your face out there. You have to put yourself out there. People are going to know who you are. If you want to interact with the world, people are going to know who you are. You're going to step on people's toes and you can't prevent your empire from falling always. Nothing will ever last forever. And by, by pursuing this path of least resistance, by pursuing this path of I want it easier, you're going to enter a field that's significantly 
more difficult. Everyone talks about how brutal it is on the streets. Dude, you have no fucking idea how cutthroat the music industry is. The fact that you guys don't even know how many murders go on in the music industry, how, how, how like fucked up it actually is, is actually proof that it's so fucked up that they're able to keep it under wraps. That they're able to successfully do that, despite how many people are in the industry. It's like a real conspiracy. That's that's just how this works. That's how the game works. That's how the world works. That's that's the truth of the world. It's pimps up, hoes down. That is the truth of the world. And if you're a real pimp, if you're a real one, you can make it in any game. You can make it in any game or die trying. Because your word and your charisma and your character and all these things should, should play into your character. You should be able to make it in any game, no matter the level. <clears throat> and I always see people, you know, when, I, when I'm moving up levels, I always see people like so scared to do like the dirty work on the ground floor. Buddy, that's the easiest job there is. That's literally the easiest one. And the game has changed. You know, nowadays, you know, the motherfuckers with like astrology websites pimp more hoes than any street pimp out there back then like dudes used to like see bitches fighting over men and they would break it up and go like ah hoes will be hoes business as usual but growing up for me born in the year 2000 dude i've seen bitches fight over hot cheetos more than fight over dudes all right the game has changed the whole world has changed Planned Parenthood is literally one of the biggest pimps in the world, and it's all legal. Most forms of pimping are actually completely legal, because when something is legal, that doesn't make it, you know, immoral or whatever. There's no, there's no boundary, there's no overlap there, there's no, this corresponds to this. Something being illegal is literally just the biggest pimp in the world saying they don't want this happening. They don't want people playing these games. That's all it is. Back when I was in high school, these motherfuckers would like bring like perks and pills and all that kind of shit into school, into my car and shit like that. This shit has infected people's minds. You know, this shit has made people zombies. It's made people slaves. In the same way that a smooth talking pimp can get into the mind of a hoe and manipulate a hoe. It's all the same shit. Everyone is either a pimp or a hoe. And everyone is actually both, um, if you want to look at it more nuanced. Everyone will be both in some way. There's no shame in that, because everyone will be that. And if you've been through enough shit in life, you'll realize that... If you want to take it a step further, everyone on planet Earth is a hoe, but only a few people will ever be able to rise through the ranks and become a pimp at some point in their life. And also that nothing lasts forever. These are the morals of the story. Because in the end, it all falls down. There's no difference between, you know, the pimp game you think about when you hear the words pimp game and the fucking pharmaceutical industry and shit, you know? The only difference is, like, and, and all these industries, they're all the same. The oil industry, the food, uh, video games, like, literally, they're all... Like this, the only differences between all of these like morally right versus morally wrong industries, the only differences is that the pimps running, the ones that people consider to be morally right, are just better at convincing the whole world that they're morally right. That's literally the only difference. The only difference is that they won, is that they beat the other games. They took their money. They took their business. That's all there is to it. And the masses are so stupid when combined that they base whatever they consider right and wrong by listening to whoever slaughtered everyone else call them wrong. You know, being a doctor and a lawyer and all that shit and sports and entertainment and politics and religion, it's all the same. It's all the same game. It's all pimps up, hose down. Some people hate the players, some people hate the game. 
Personally, I don't see the difference. And over time, I've learned to love the players and love the game. And I'll never forget like what I learned from Pimps Up, Hose Down. I think it's so valuable. And I think if I watch it again, I'd learn whole new different lessons if I were to watch it in a different time in my life. If I watch it five years from now, I'd learn something totally different that I never got out of it the first few times I watched it. It's a brilliant, brilliant movie. And it's like a, it's a documentary and it's a deep insight into the lives of people who are really out here doing shit, making shit happen in this high risk, high reward situation. Because what other choice did they have? Every, every experience in their life led them to those points to do those things. For someone to say, oh, you're wrong for doing this. I guarantee you anybody who would ever say that is doing far more fucked up shit by, the, by even their own standard in their own lives. But they just don't ever think about it. But yeah, there's no room for um, uh, insecurity. There's no room for, okay, I want to have it easier. No, there's no such thing as praying for an easier life if you're maybe if you're like a if you're like a female in america like growing up in like a good neighborhood with rich parents then sure maybe you can ask for an easier life and maybe it'll actually work out for you and you can live on easy mode until you die but for people like me people who resonate with this living on easy mode doesn't exist the only way out of the situation the only way to make things better is to become stronger and to be able to step on people's toes and have the confidence and strength and competence and and charisma and and capital and cunningness and all these things to deal with it to deal with it and and come out on top there's nothing else to do like it paints a very clear picture like, how do you go about uh, making it up in the niche, in the industry? There's nothing else to do. There's only one path ahead. Like, what else is... Why, why distract yourself with all this other bullshit, going out, partying, and doing all this other shit? There's only one thing to do. You want to make it up? You're going to be sent downwards if you don't realize what makes it up. Pimps up, hose down. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's poetic and um, man, I'm really thankful for that.